Crusaders of the realms. These warriors wield ancient weapons in their fight to bring balance to the kingdoms on which they hail. So these two share a package. Just got this in the mail today. Pretty new release, hasn't yet released everywhere just at the moment. Um, I did pay a little bit extra for mine, but I have to say it's definitely worth the money. It comes with a lot of accessories. Comes with the uh, Hulk's left arm and a big weapon like a hammer of some sort. Also comes with three weapons for Ares, the axe and the uh, the sword. A little knife as well. Also, Ares helmet is removable. Got him out the box right here. Good size figure, um, very detailed. I did plan on getting the build a figure version of this figure. Saw that at a, saw that at a uh, buy sell trade toy shop that I went to for the first time not too long ago, and um, it was missing a leg. So I was going to see how much that leg cost before I went to go buy it. And the leg was about 30 bucks on eBay. So I wasn't going to be getting that. Glad they reissued this. Now everybody can get an Aries for a very, very good price. And it's pretty much the same figure. Different sculpt, I guess, in some areas. But pretty much the same figure. Decent weight to it. So this is essentially a builder figure. Comes with a lot of accessories, man. It's a great deal for this figure. Definitely recommend it if you can find it. Pick it up. It should be releasing everywhere, I believe, at least by uh, August 1st or so. Good size. Looks like he has the same sculpt as the Warpath. I think that sculpt may have actually originally been like the Hawkling, Hawkling. Sculpt or something like that, possibly correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. But one thing that I do notice has these ball peg leg joints. I always hated those. And at this point, they sh I've already updated it, I believe, as well with the uh, wrecking crew or whatever. But they shouldn't make it with these ball joints at all. That's I hate them. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into some of this. As I said, the helmet's removable. Yeah, it's like a blue outline on his eyes. Sort of silver eye balls. <laughs> no, he has silver eyes. Doesn't seem like he has really any neck articulation. I don't know why. Can't really move it. Looks pretty cool with that. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Comes with the axe and sword. Pretty decent sized weapons. Jeez. Now this is kind of a hard plastic. Harder than I'm used to. On the hands of Aries. Didn't seem to double joint his elbows, which definitely restricts his articulation. Pissed about that. B 
beast, a menace. Oh, crap. All right, this figure is a little bit underwhelming. I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of money on the builder figure. They could have gave it double jointed. Elbows. Because why not? He has a little bit of ab crunch, can move forward about that much. Doesn't seem to really move back much at all. Has this little dagger, it's also removable. Nice paint app on it. A little bit of damage on a sword, nice detail. Definitely looks like he's been using it. Man, I wish they uh, would stop slacking on these figures and just give them what they deserve. No figure deserves to be single jointed at the elbows. It's 2017, people. You got figure arts and all that. Can't be doing stuff like that, man. It's not cool. I guess that's the best I'm gonna get it for now. <clears throat> Got that blade standing up in the back. I took that strap off of him. Still looks like a lot better without it. The sheath and the uh, stakes and all that that go across his chest. Just looks more smooth this way to me. I like it much more like this. It's cool. I love this figure. Definitely recommend it. Also, pick up this Aries if you uh, see it out. Recommend it as well. A lot of things I don't like about it, but it looks like it's going to be one of those figures that's going to be worth something. So don't miss out, I guess. You know? But, uh, hey, thanks everybody for watching. Still going to do that custom video of some of my customs that I have that I really haven't showed off like I should. Be peeping up. Thanks, guys. Peace.